Graz, the second largest city in Austria, a city with a great history and currently influenced by the tradition of automotive manufacturing at Steyr Daimler Puch. Since 1979, it has been cooperating with Mercedes-Benz to build the G-Model, an off-road vehicle in a class of its own. The G's backbone is a frame made of four millimeter thick steel. Longitudinal girders and cross beams are the basis of its unbeatable stability. The G's production characteristics, a high percentage of skilled hand craftsmanship and using machines wherever it seems meaningful. Man and machine work hand in hand here. The supportive frame gives the G its high stability for driving even under the most difficult conditions. The frame is cleaned with environmentally compatible processes, given an undercoat, and then painted with a durable two-component paint. Protection is better than repair, so the care put into that is decisive for its long life. Then the frame is flooded with 90 degrees centigrade hot wax. Up to one and a half liters stick to the inner surfaces and hard to reach hollows for effective protection against rust. Extra wax runs off. Long spiral springs give the G its high comfort and preferable climbing capabilities. Each wheel is suspended from the rigid front and rear axles by two longitudinal and one transverse link to ensure that all four of the G's wheels stay on the ground, even off-road. For off-road use, the ABS on the hydraulic system can be turned off because a blocking wheel can make the vehicle stop faster off-road. The all-steel chassis is made of up to 870 single parts. Front floor, rear floor, and side walls are welded together in an automated welding system. Modern laser cutting systems are used. Up to 6,400 spot welds are done, a connection for long-lasting durability, even under all strains. Four-wheel drive is a traditional specialty of Steyr Daimler Puch. The distribution gearbox for the permanent four-wheel drive is made and mounted with the highest of precision in Graz, the basis of the G's unique off-road handling. A press of the button can lock up the three differentials. Engine torque reaches the respective wheel with the highest traction on each axle. The G climbs best this way. Powerful Mercedes engines, gasoline, and diesel, and the gearbox trim to them make the G an ideal tow vehicle. It may pull up to 3,500 kilograms, one and a half tons on the trailer hook. The massive ladder frame not only ensures good ground clearance, it protects everything above it, such as the engine, gearbox, exhaust system, the catalytic converter, and all important circuits and cables. After the obligatory cleaning and degreasing, the chassis is dipped into the electrolytic bath for its first undercoating. The high zinc content paint galvanically sticks to even the most difficult corners and angles, and it cannot drip off the electrically grounded chassis either. 
After that, excess paint is rinsed off to give it a very even undercoating. After all, the Mercedes-Benz G is not an everyday vehicle, ready for off-road action every day, and that for years. The flooring is extensively treated. 13 kilograms of tough plastic undercoating protect against gravel impact, snow, and aggressive melting salts. It covers every angle, every corner. And then men go to work where the machines are not precise enough. All connecting seams are tightly sealed. The G plows waves up in front as it rides through the water test, but the feet stay dry inside. The filler paint applied before the final paint job smooths the chassis, compensating the smallest of irregularities. Experience and artistic craftsmanship with the spray gun are needed for the final coats. A good eye and harmonic movement ensure the best packaging for the G. After all, it is an all-weather vehicle. The perfect paint job is an outward expression of quality. And then there are the repeated test and quality controls. Then life comes into the chassis. The G is completed piece by piece. The roof liner is several square meters large. The optional electric slide lift sunroof is fitted, giving G passengers new perspectives. The free view through the opening sunroof is really a heavenly part of driving freedom. Assembly is done by hand. Every movement is deliberate. Every machine has its place. Functionality is written in large letters. The windows are held by their own tension in the rubber ceiling rings. The G is almost ready for travel, giving us a pre-taste of its fascination, its freedom, and its driving feel. A ride in the G is more than just transportation. The electrical systems are now installed. The electric power windows are equipped with power limiters. Testing is better than possible endangering. Many kilometers of cable are laid. Connections have to be made for the lifetime of the vehicle.
There's a test for each phase of production. The steering is tested for ease of handling. Then the airbag is installed. Seal for seal, the testers issue the birth certificate for a long life off-road vehicle. The so-called marry-up when the body and chassis are married up. The G463 series offers customers three different chassis variations with two different wheel lengths, powerful six-cylinder gasoline or diesel engines. The more commercially oriented 461 series comes in seven chassis variations, four different wheel lengths, and two different engines. A number of special options gives customers a truly customized off-road vehicle. That is why production logistics must have no less than 6,500 different parts at the right place at the right time for the assembly teams. From the preview of years of off-road pleasure with the G back to assembly, several steps must still be accomplished, but the countdown is running. programming display in the mid console is part of the optional stand heating system with remote control. The G can be converted into a van by folding down the sectional back seat. Almost child's play because the headrests can stay where they are. No matter if one selects leather or textile seats, this is not a matter of different quality, but merely of personal taste. Follow-up function testing also includes the remote control for closing the windows and sunroof as well as activating the alarm system. It is coupled with an electronic drive-away block and a tilt sensor which will activate the alarm when the G's level is changed. This makes sure that the G will always stay in the right hands. These had better keep their hands off. Hydraulic fluids are filled into the power aggregates or the air conditioner. Now the G rolls under its own power, the first meters of many thousands of kilometers. Driving conditions are simulated on the testing rig. Each and every G model must pass a severe final test before it can roll through the neighborhood or off to distant lands. All functions are checked. All results certified by the tester's seal.
The G is now released for delivery. The documentation would finish here, but every second day, a sample vehicle is pulled from running production and subjected to an especially strict quality control. The frame protects the underside of the vehicle. Tubes, lines, and cables for its vital functions such as the brakes, steering, and electrical systems are located here for driving safety under extreme conditions. Testing on the proving grounds show how the different parts will behave because the sum of their characteristics is the character of the G. Man with all his senses and years of experience is the best testing instrument here. Precision is not routine for quality controllers, but the meaning of their job on the way to perfection. Every small deviation from production norms is documented. Knowledge flows back into the continued improvement of production. The same is true of test driving. The suspension's tracking and camber are precisely measured. Door closure pressure must lie in equally tight tolerances, as well as the force needed to step on the gas pedal. Anyone who owns a Mercedes-Benz off-road not only has one of the best off-road vehicles in the world, they also have the decisive bit more of freedom. Getting away from it all, the wind and sea become friends. To travel is a fine thing, but to arrive is even better. To leave the city behind together with engineering, one can trust to overcome all obstacles. The cross-country vehicle from Mercedes-Benz is a piece of precision engineering made by people for people. It focuses the sight on distant horizons, creates new dimensions. It's versatile and fun to drive, but not frivolous. What weather. It couldn't be worse for the start of a journey. In these circumstances, many drivers become nervous or indecisive, but in difficult conditions, the performance and precision of the Mercedes G create an unequaled feeling of security. The better the view, the better the driving. The higher seating position enables the driver to anticipate traffic movement. In a car, he sits lower and his field of vision is restricted. He not only has to battle to a greater extent with snow, rain and spray on the road, he is also slower in taking in the maneuvers of other cars. In the Mercedes G, the reaction of other drivers under bad conditions are registered more quickly. An obvious safety bonus, resulting in cool-headed driving. In the G model from Mercedes-Benz, hasty reactions are practically excluded. The relaxed response of engine and chassis to bad weather and road conditions reassures the occupants. The feeling of security forms a bond between man and technology. At the touch of a button, the three differentials can be individually locked, giving even greater traction to the permanent, powerful four-wheel drive. The low ratio provides a higher torque at lower engine revs. The touch of a button releases all locked functions, but in most cases, the permanent four-wheel drive is sufficient on its own. The date with friends in a mountain hut nearly got buried in a flurry of snow on the motorway, 
or stuck in the slippery track through the forest, but only nearly. Punctuality is one of the G model's many virtues. Above the clouds, the G model brings that feeling of freedom a little bit closer. With skis too, safety is a question of the binding. Controlled movement opens the way to escape from everyday restrictions. On such a day, it becomes clear that mobility is one of the better things in life. Every trip is a worthwhile experience. It's good when driving comfort is not attained at the expense of safety. Confidence is the reward of knowing that one has made the right decision. After slush, snow and sleet, the G model solves the parking problem too. On the icy hill where others fear to drive, the parking place is already reserved. On one of those rare good days, the Mercedes G can transform itself into a gentle giant and leads the expedition into the land of dreams. You don't trust things of value to just anybody. And what could be more important than the well-being of four-legged friends? In the G model, the back bench is easily folded forwards to make room for saddle and bridle. The horses travel in comfort. The Mercedes G and a roomy horse box make an ideal team. This weighty combination is easily controlled even by the gentlest hand. And the fact that four feet are superior under cross-country conditions is not only true of riding events. Atmosphere. 
The men sitting high up in the open vehicle with no roof over their heads are nevertheless in good spirits. Musicians usually are. The Mercedes G with convertible folding soft top is only available as short wheelbase, but upwards the sky is the limit. Thanks to the exceptional reinforcement of the body, there's no necessity for a load-bearing closed roof. band, this is no mystery trip. The gentlemen with tuba and trumpet are expected. And then the Mercedes G takes its place in the first row. Shopping is exciting, but usually means picking up your own purchases. Nowadays, everyone is his own delivery service unpacking, loading, and getting away as quickly as possible. But the dream of easy transport comes to an abrupt end in front of the furniture store. Many people expect too much of their cars. Few vehicles are truly multifunctional, and this proves a severe test for many a young French. The Mercedes G allows a certain nonchalance in today's takeaway world. Behind the rear door, there's storeroom even for bulky goods, and there is surely nothing nicer than leaving the frayed tempers of others behind. The Mercedes G deserves more than a fleeting friendship and will do all in its power to become a long-term partner. There's a choice between petrol engines, which have catalytic converters, of course, and various diesel versions, which are equally kind to the environment. Whichever engine powers the Mercedes G, it's in a secure place. Front and rear axles are precisely controlled and can be relied upon on the long stretches from the southern mountain lakes to the northern seas. Expressed by sailing ships, wind and waves, racing yachts, and powerful racing motorboats. The Mercedes G gives access to this adventurous world, although even the G model can't swim. And when the boat has to go ashore, here is the perfect towing vehicle. Precision is then the keyword.
the Mercedes G easily copes with trailer loads of up to 3,500 kilograms. So even for a powerboat, maneuvering on land is no problem. Solid steel girders form the backbone of the Mercedes G. The frame under the bodywork provides quality that can be felt, if not seen. The inside of the frame is flooded with hot wax against rust in cavities. Prevention may be expensive, but it's important. Rugged construction is only one requirement for a long life. The fact that the Mercedes G is no short-lived consumer product is already ensured during manufacture. laser beams cut accurately to within one thousandth of a millimeter. Rust has no chance against the galvanizing of the bodywork and careful spraying. Only after many layers of paint does the Mercedes G show its colors. The outside coat gives the final touch to this shining protection a product made for a lifetime. No join and no edge, however well hidden, remains untreated. There's no way for water to penetrate the passenger cell or to destroy important specially sealed electric and electronic parts. There are many steps in the production of the Mercedes G. Hand finishing is always justified where the experience and skills of the mechanic are better than the best machine. The engine and transmission and complete well-proven modules for the interior have been taken over from the limousine series. Spare part supply is guaranteed by a worldwide dealer network. Precision is also a matter of supervision. Final inspection by experienced technicians ensures that the Mercedes G is ready for a world it can explore with its driver. But only after acceptance by the controller is the way clear, the way which sometimes leads to the test track. The sophisticated chassis with rigid axles is located by longitudinal and transverse rods. The front, fitted with torsion bar stabilizer, guarantees driving comfort and safety. On tarmac, or as here off-road with a test driver, it's all the same to the Mercedes G. Now, concentration is called for. Turning is possible even on a sunken track. This is how it's done. A skilled driver is an essential aid, of course. The Mercedes G is a high vehicle with a low point of gravity. Before it tilts, the driver must surely have his heart in his mouth because slopes of up to 54% can be easily mastered. A cross-country vehicle is only as good as its ground clearance, and there the Mercedes G keeps its distance. When the going gets really difficult, there are the low ratio gears to increase the engine's torque. Three important switches are waiting to assist. They control the function of the differentials. Each of these differentials in the center and at the rear and front axle can be locked at the press of a switch. A red lamp indicates when the individual locks are engaged, the engine power is transmitted to the appropriate axle, the wheel stops spinning, and there's hardly any obstacle that can resist the Mercedes G. 
the step-by-step -step increase in the cross-country capability has a logical sequence. First, the differential in the center, then the rear, and finally the front axle. One touch of the switch activates the function of the differentials. 21 centimeters ground clearance between the vehicle's lowest point and the ground is a good qualification for climbing over rocks and boulders. On the road, the anti-lock braking system keeps the Mercedes G steerable even in an abrupt emergency stop. Off-road on sandy ground, however, it increases the stopping distance. The system can be turned off by a switch in the center console. Here, locked wheels can be an advantage. They push sand, earth, and snow in front of them. While on a slope, the wheels dig themselves in, and the Mercedes G rapidly comes to a standstill. Another demonstration of the effectiveness of the differential locks in extreme conditions. A differential, which is not locked, allows individual wheels to spin. The locks transfer traction to the axle, and the Mercedes G works its way out of the situation on all fours. Take it easy. Just as a person moves slowly in difficult conditions, the Mercedes G2 advances with great caution in tough country. The short overhang, with a gradient of 37 degrees at the front and 32 at the back, stops both fore and aft from getting caught. And it can climb slopes as steep as 80%. In comparison, one of the steepest alpine pass roads is a mere 12%. Unfortunately, cross-country vehicles normally have to live in the undergrowth of the cities, but the Mercedes G always finds a way into the open, and there the wilderness can start. But it's an adventure with a return ticket. Everything about it is somehow different. If it's like a castle on wheels, it's certainly the fastest castle around. Every time he starts it, the driver rediscovers values and expressions he had long forgotten. It's the simple life that leads to the heart of things. The Mercedes G takes the direct route to the horizon, the furniture store, or to a dinner date. It's a vehicle which you can rely on that never dodges its obligations. Obstacles are a challenge, and there the Mercedes G is like its driver. During the routine of everyday life, it's reassuring to have a kind of home on wheels. And home can be in the high north, for example, in permissible locations on storm-swept beaches, where tracks in the sand are all that are left to show you've been there. There are some things in life that have to be experienced to be understood. Fording 60 centimeters of water can be an interesting experience or simply the way out of an emergency. little bit more freedom has become rare in a world that only lives by rules and regulations. What remains is love for the authentic, fresh fish straight out of the sea, 
the biting wind and a sunset that's not the end of a day, but the beginning of an evening. And it's great if you have a partner to share your enthusiasm for your off-road Mercedes-Benz.